what is going on guys welcome to the video now today we've got a very very special video one we're doing a mod to the car and two and two yeah hold on i'm getting there and two look who's back hi hi <laughs> <laughs> so my dad's actually down for my birthday it's my birthday tomorrow but because i've got a car meet i'm going to be opening a few of my presents today which includes this nardi personal steering wheel which is what we're installing and then later on i'm going to open a few of my other presents and i've got a couple of other things for the car that we're going to install all today but first things first i'm going to open the steering wheel are you ready yeah Right, okay, so I went for a personal Nardi steering wheel. Now, my girlfriend actually bought this for my birthday. And I didn't want something that was like too race car looking. I wanted something that was very similar to stock. So, this is what I went for. got the leather as well I could have got the Alcantara but it just wears off using it day day in day out so got the leather Nardi steering wheel with the red stitching and like I said I've I, I didn't want something that was too track looking I, did, I wanted something that I can use every day I think this will be a good uh, a good thing for the car we've also got a HK <laughs> we've also got a HKB boss kit as well which actually isn't doesn't really come out more than the stock wheel does it no it kind of it does really look standard so we're going to install that today first time me and my dad have ever done anything like this but it looks it looks quite straightforward we've had a little bit of a look and uh it looks pretty simple so let's just do it kit of boss kit of boss. <laughs> how do you stop it okay so we're going to give this a go but so many people have told me a steering wheel is like the best mod you can do to a car it makes it feel like a new car it makes it feel completely different so i'm hoping this makes a really big difference now like i've said it before as well a gear knob and a steering wheel is you could put 400 horsepower in a car but if you haven't got a gear knob or a steering wheel you're not going to be able to use it so gear knob and a steering wheel is kind of like the best things you can do to a car so that's what we're going to find out today all right so obviously before you touch anything to do with your airbag Disconnect your battery just to be safe, you don't want it blowing up in your face. <laughs> Alright, so once your battery's off, this is how to do it on an EP3. It's pretty similar with most other cars, but I'll just show you how to do it on my car. So if you look behind the wheel, you've got two little doors, you just want to pull them off. There's one, then come around the side, and there's another one there now you might need a flat head for that but i got it with my nail uh, and then True. inside here there will be two t30 screws there'll be one just in there as you can see there's a hole for it and then the other one will be just down here obviously we've disconnected the airbag first the other one will be just up there so you want to take them two out that's what they look like might be a little bit difficult they might have some lock thread on it but yeah take them out and then you're pretty much ready to pull your airbag off. So under here is where you'll have your airbag clip. Now, all you want to do is just pull these apart. This is on springs, so you pull that apart and then pull the other side off, and then that'll be your airbag disconnected. I just want to say as well, when you disconnect your battery, leave it for three to five minutes just to let all the electrics drain in. It's just like a safety thing to do. Just make it 10. Just make it 10 minutes. <laughs> so, good to bring the airbag off now, and then, you'll have a clip going onto this bottom bit as well just just that's pull that bit off that's yep. for your horn take that off and that's it there's a honda civic ep3 airbag the clip because you're trying to figure it out i know he's tried to explain it but it's on a spring can't do it that well one end but it's on a spring voila <laughs> all right and then the fun part is taking your hub off now this is normally you might need a breaker bar for this or two people but it's it, it is on there we've already broke this one so 19 mil, 19 mil socket and you just take it off it's ideally pretty simple. a breaker bar ideally a breaker bar and then for this part your wheel will be really stuck on tight what i did i just gave it a massive hit on the bottom on the bottom part here and that knocked it off but make sure you leave the nut on so you don't smack this and it ends up twatting you in the jaw so <laughs> just leave that on and then once you've loosened your steering wheel, take your bolt off. And that's it, out with the old. Oh, perfect. In the box for Go on, the, Dad. what's yes, it now. called? 
Oh wait, that's not meant to be in there. That's my uh, that's my personal horn. The boss and everything. Daddy la. Hold that. But in <laughs> in the kit you will get one of these. Which this is, is very important. This is quite important. Well, unless you want an airbag light on all day, but you need to put that. You do it. I'll show them. So you want to. So this is your. Oh, I've got that. So this is your air. This is the other side to the airbag clip. Now yours will look like this, and they'll be plugged in, which is what I showed you earlier. Obviously, like Dad said, take the spring, pull the springs. That'll disconnect. And then this will come with your boss kit. Now, if your boss kit don't come with this, then it's probably a shit boss kit, and I won't use it. But all you want to do is just plug them into the two pins Sorry, it that are inside yeah. your airbag. Once that's in, what's, what that's doing is telling the car, it's telling the ECU that I've, I've got the airbag connected, but obviously it won't deploy anything because we've not got an airbag anymore. So make sure you've got that in or you're going to get an airbag problem on your dashboard and you just don't want that so make sure you plug that in so once you've got it looking a little bit like this the next step is your boss kit all right so when you put your boss kit on as you can see at the top of your boss kit at the top of your boss kit it says top there with a tiny little arrow that wants to line up with your hub where it says top and now luckily Japanese cars have thought about it Hello. Hello. If you look closely, I don't know if the camera will be able to focus in on this, but if you look through that hole, oh, this is going to be so hard to focus. There we go. There we go. If you look through that hole, you can see the arrow, which should line up with that arrow. So if you look through, they both should be literally lined up perfect. That's how you know that this is going to go on the exact way your OEM one came off. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna put the nut back on now and just nip it up just so it's tight. We're not sure, I'm not actually sure how tight these should be. We're just gonna make sure it's tight enough, but we're just gonna put the nut on and then put the wheel on, line it all up and then tighten it all down. Okay, so we put all six bolts in. The wheel should be on. What we're gonna do, we're just gonna move it up and down the driveway, make sure the wheel's straight. And if it is straight, then you wanna tighten your center bolt. Seems okay. Yeah. So the wheel should be a tiny little bit off centre. Yeah, that's about perfect. Because I hit a really big pothole and it knocked my tracking out. So the wheel should be pointing a tiny bit to the left. So yeah, that's that's pretty much spot on, I think. <laughs> okay, now horn. This is an extender, but. I don't think we're going to need it. Might not need it. Oh my god, this looks so nice. Just depends if that goes on there. Oh. Now it won't work. It's got to be earth with this. So that's the earth, he says confidently. Hey, hey. up yours. <laughs> I was gonna say, it's on now whether I like it or not. I think we're on, I think we're good. <coughs> Fuck off! Should we go for a spin? Well, your tools are there. Right. That's it, boys and girls. I'm gonna tidy my tools and take it uh, what, what, what do we say? Thanks for tuning in. No. Oh, don't we? Bless him. All excited. Adios. Oh, honestly, it's like it feels like a, driving a different car. It's made such a big difference. We're gonna just adjust it a tiny little bit because, like I said, my tracking is a little bit off. Um, so I think it just needs to be a little bit more, like one notch to the left. But apart from that, oh man, completely feels like a different car. I love it. 100% one of the best mods you can do. I think everyone was right. Jesus Christ. It doesn't feel far from stock, but it feels like a, a little bit race car. It, I really, really do like it, really like it. I'll get some shots now of what it looks like, but I'm super happy with this.
absolutely perfect. I, I, I honestly love it. It is like the best mod ever. <laughs> Love it, we've got a gear, aftermarket gear knob and an aftermarket steering wheel. And you know what I mean when I say it doesn't look far from stock, but you can tell it's aftermarket. Oh, it's just, <laughs> it's perfect. So I'm gonna go inside now, chill for a bit, and then later on I'm gonna open the rest of my presents for my birthday and see what I get. And then we'll probably install that in this video as well. And I think I know a few things I've got. Just little, little touches, nothing major, but things that make the nice little difference. So yeah, we'll pick the video up later on once I've got the rest of the parts. Okay, so we're picking this video up the next day. It is actually now my birthday, and I've got a few parts. Some of them are back in Warrington, some of them I've opened today, but we've got some really sick parts coming. Uh, we've got a really big modification to go. I'm not gonna give it away in the car next week. Um, it's quite an expensive one as well, so I'm looking forward to that, but for now, my girlfriend for my birthday actually got me some Tegwa rocker cover nuts to replace these ones, which, like I said, they're a little touch which makes a huge difference in my opinion. And I've also got a Tegwa sump plug, which means I'm gonna be changing the oil on this car because I've not actually done it yet. So it's probably due and it's always worth doing when you get a new car. So for now, we're gonna install the rocker cover nuts to replace these silver ones. And then I'm gonna wrap the video up there because I've got to head to MFN opening meet. So that should be good. Okay, let's install these. So like I said, I'm a huge fan of the little things that make a big difference, and I'm pretty sure this is one of them. Really happy with those, and yeah, we've got some amazing mods to put on the car this next week, and I've got a bit of time off work as well. So we're gonna be doing them, we're gonna be blasting the videos out. Once again, back on the grind. I'm gonna go ahead and wash my car now, ready to go to MFN and end the video here. So if you did enjoy, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.